Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. I am Fiery Red Hero 8. And we are going to explore a new level. It's been a couple episodes without it, but that's fine. We're going to go and explore probably one of my favorite ones as far as like atmosphere goes. It's probably this one coming up. And I have to say, okay, pineapple, that's good. That's actually right over here. I just, I really like it, and you'll see why when I when I, we get there, but, um, grab the pineapple. I'm actually sick of eating pineapple lately in real life. I just, I, I don't know why. Like, I get tired of eating the same foods, and I'm sure anybody on a diet would know what I'm talking about when I say that. Um, anyway, okay. Hundred, got the orange Yoshi. I want some orange juice now. Okay, what we're gonna do is go up the rooftops, even though I don't want to, and get up to the pineapple, because apparently he's really in a mood for pineapple, so it's kind of ironic that we had to feed him that right before getting to this. But speaking of all the dieting and stuff, I will say that I remember my starting weight, at least at home, was 180, right? Of course, that was an inaccurate on an inaccurate scale. The scale at my gym pretty much clarified cut off here. It is Sirena Beach or Serena Beach. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I always said Serena Beach when I was younger. Episode one, the Manta Storm. Sounds intimidating. And it actually is, if you don't know how to do it, it's pretty complicated and it can be tedious. But look at this, a sunset beach, but all this goop is here for whatever reason. Damn it, Shadow Mario slash Bowser Jr. But look at this. I mean, look at this. This is like every girl's dream. Well, most girls' dreams. To have, be on a beach at sunset walking hand in hand. But still, I mean, I just love this. And I remember that, okay, a friend told me way back in the day that if you let your GameCube sit for like, I think, a couple hours, that if you came back that the sun would be set and it would be nighttime. I don't think that's true, but I always wondered what this beach would look like at night, but oh my god, I love this. I just, I want to like curl up on a towel and just kind of like doze, but of course it's dangerous to do that in real life. Anyway, back to the scale. I was, I think, 190 at one point, and now I'm under 145, so if that's the case, then I've lost 45 pounds instead of just 30, so I don't know what to believe, but I think that's awesome! Anyway. I think I'm done with my goal as far as that goes. And I'm just going to keep going to the gym to keep the habit. But anyway. What a cool looking sunset. Spectacular. You got that right. I heard this is a grand, great hotel. I can't wait to see my room. I love your hair even though it's seashells. That's awesome. Okay. There's a hotel. What? There's no hotel and we got some pissed off piantas. And one of them's red like me. What, what? The hotel's vanished? What does that mean? Hey, what's going on? What's this nonsense? You, fix it now! You do sound like me when I'm pissed off. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Oh, please tell me my nightmare's over. You can save me! I don't know why, but you just look very capable to me. Listen, it all started around noon. This giant manta-shaped thing showed up and was super pap it was paper thin floating silhouette it came and covered the hotel grounds and this electric goop then oh the horror my beautiful hotel my poor building it sank in the middle of that awful ooze why me why now I've got the staff cleaning up but where's my hotel what am I supposed to do I can't just sit back and ah it's back that gossiper ghoul do something Oh my god! Run! This thing is fucking creepy, I'm not gonna lie, but I love this shine sprite. It's pretty fun, but it can be tedious. First thing, hover and jump. You gotta run and get back to the beach. And this electric shit will stun you and stop you, so you gotta be sure to get back out of its way. Okay. It just, it sounds ginormously big and scary. Get back to the beach. It's gonna follow you. And its weakness is water, which is ironic because it came from the beach. But see, he's already coming back. And he's huge. 
But here's the thing. It's going to take more than just water to get rid of him. Well, it is going to take water. A hell of a lot. Thankfully, we're on a beach. All right, dude. Die! Ugh! Yeah, you got that right. But he's just... What he's going to do... He was supposed to... Hopefully, he'll do it this time. Yes. He will split into two smaller bits, but then they, of course, will double, quadruple, octuple, or whatever the hell you want to call it. They're going to keep doing that. And they're going to split until they're all tiny. And then they're going to be super tiny. And if you get hit by one of those, you will get thrown across. And trust me, that's going to be a problem because they're all over the beach. So my best advice, stay in the water where they can't leave their electric goop so you'll be minimized as far as stunning goes. But once they get down to a super teeny size and you spray them, they'll die. But there's a ton of them and you got to watch your jumps or else you will get thrown across the beach and die. But, like I said, it's, it's, ah, shit! Okay, I got lucky there. Um, it's gonna take a while to get them down. It's one of my favorite shines, but it is, it takes a while. I like this way much more than the windmill. Windmill. Ferris wheel. Why am I saying, I said windmill? That one time? Shit. I just realized that. Okay. They're getting a lot smaller, so maybe this isn't as long as I remember, but I remember doing this a lot because I sucked at first, but... No. Asshole. Here we go. Yeah, using the hover nozzle I think is best just because you're out of the air, but it probably would be easier to spray them. But I just prefer to be in the air so I can jump out of the way. And they're all just going off doing their own things, but... Not for long, I will tell you. Okay, really? Okay, come on. Where are you? You know, we might just switch over to this to see, because they're all tiny over here. Because one spray of water when they're tiny will kill it. Kill them. Oh, there's, oh, they're all the way up there. Seriously, no. I don't... There it is. Now they're all going to head for you. So actually, I'm going to contradict what I said and start spraying like crazy this way. I used to always do the hover nozzle. Maybe that was for the worst. I don't know. But with them purple, they're all going to start coming for you, which is good because then it's just easier to get them all. There we go. Sound like seagulls. Ow! I thought I hit you, bastard. I guess not. Yeah, you see, I already got half my health taken away from all this crap. Come on, come on out. Come on out, don't you? Ow, shit. If I die on this, I'll be pissed. Yeah, I think it is, even though it's probably easier, it's also probably more dangerous to do it this way. Circle time. Shit, no, you get away from me. Shit. They're starting to get down in numbers, so that's good. Actually, I think we're about done. You get out of here. So do you. Is that it? No! That was it! See, you can take a lot of your health away. See, I'm finding a lot of times when I do LPs... With, with when I do my LPs, I'm actually, my strategies seem to suck, and then I automatically change my mind when doing something else. So, isn't that just lovely? But even though I'm the LPer here, I do feel like I, I'm learning a lot myself, which, that's good, you know, I like to learn. Oh, well, I'm just, what I mean is, you know, it's not just me teaching you, but I also learn in the process, which I think is really cool. And there we go. <laughs> Awkward silence. I'm not trying to sound cocky when I say that either. Just like, it's mainly for fun. But, you know, if I can teach somebody something and if I can learn something, like I explained in Rico Harbor, then I'm all for it. Alright. Ten minutes to do that one? Shit. Okay. There we go. Got that one. We're already... How many shine sprites? 59? Whoa! Okay, then we're, like, almost legit halfway through. 
The hotel lobby secret. A secret level already? Crap. This one's not that bad, but there's a particular part in it that can be a pain in the ass. Alright. Now the hotel's back, but that lady's still out there. Pissed off. I wonder why. Let's go see what she's bitching about this time. I mean, it's probably covered in goop inside, so they're probably just cleaning it up, right? To tell the truth, I was worried about what might happen. What do you mean, what might happen? My apologies, but the hotel is currently still being prepared. We'll let you in as soon as we're able. Please be patient. Really? I mean, seriously, you could just lay out here. Get some, t like, ask them to give you some towels or something and just lay out here by the fountain. If you get hot, jump in the water. What's the holdup? Can I get checked in here or what? What do you say? I'm utterly exhausted. Please let me rest. Like I just said, go out here. I mean, I know that things aren't that comfortable, but come on. We can't go in yet, can we? Yeah, that's pretty much what I figured. They probably lost our reservations or something anyway. Aren't you a pessimistic person? I'm beginning to have my doubts about this guy. I would say so. Don't date a pessimist, really. Okay. What do you, I, what do you guys say? Look, I'm sorry. So very sorry. Really awfully sorry. I just work here. I don't know anything. So please don't yell. What? what? We still can't go in? What's going on? Listen to me. We're not going to stand for this. No, no, no. Well, you're going to have to, bitch. Hey, um, it's Mario, right? Yeah, Mario. Listen, I, uh, have a feeling you can help me out again. See, the hotel, it's, well, it's full of, it's full of ghosts! Awesome! Ghost time! So, well, could you maybe just, like, come inside, please? I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be so modest. Yeah, just push me into a hotel with a bunch of ghosts in it. What is this, The Shining? But the music is so cute! I just want to, like, hug one of these ghosties. But yeah, squirting them with water makes them become visible, and you actually can jump on these. Except, um, unlike in Super Mario 64, but what you want to do, actually, is climb, because these pink ghosts actually make platforms, and you're going to want to climb up them, is what you're going to want to do. If I can get up there. Oh, come on. I want to see if I can just do this here, instead of... There we go, that's good. Shit. Yeah. There we go. And actually, some ghosts will sometimes rec um, disguise themselves as coins, but you can tell because the coins are so that are not moving, that's the ghost. But you don't even need to do that last one, just get in there. Top of the totem pole. And we will be doing this level. This is fun. It's actually not that bad. But. Oh, shit. I can only imagine the red coin one. And no, I have not done that one yet. Oh, shit. I just, like, automatically work did it push buttons as if Flood was there. Isn't that just cool? I'm already forgetting. Watermelon! Okay, these guys, act it looks, it's easier than it looks. Because you just have to wait for them and jump. And I believe you jumped twice. Yep, like that. Just like old times. So nothing to worry about there. Get the awesome brick breaking. I hope I get this on my first try. Because cause I'm telling you, I used to do this a million times. And it pissed me off every time. Okay, the sand thing's not that hard. It's just like in Gelato Beach. Oh, crap. If I see all that backtracking, I can only imagine how bad the coins are going to be. Alright, we're already almost there. Let's stop down here. And you're going to be in a side view. I see a 1-up right there, but I'm not going for it. I think I have enough lives. <sighs> that really almost screwed me over. This thing, you remember this from Rico Harbor? This is your worst enemy in this level. Because it's going to... If you're not, you know, if it's not quite... Be See, it'll do that! No! That's exactly what it was. I never... That's exactly what it'll do to you. Okay, we're going on 15 minutes almost here. No checkpoints for this? Shit. Oh, well, it's not that long. Fuck. 
I want to go up there. Damn. See, if I can get back to that point, we're good. But now I'm just, hopefully I won't get frustrated and then keep getting pissed off. All right, come on. Really? This isn't... Okay. <sighs> Come on, Mario. I'm not in the mood for your antics today. Okay. Anyway. Let's get... No. Because at this point, I mean, this is... Like, with all the shines we've been getting, and then it's like I'm only probably going to get two in this episode. It's like, damn. You're on a roll for a little bit. But still... Little progress is better than no progress at all. And I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. Stop it. Okay. Mario, you have brakes. Use them. Okay. There we go. No. No, 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 you don't. No! Oh my god. Oh, oh, no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do this to me. I will baby step this in a heartbeat. Yes! Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. I was about ready to say, do not F me over there. I will kill you. <sighs> Ironically, that's what I've been doing where Mario has died a couple times. Yay, it's all sunny! <laughs> okay, let me clap like an idiot. But yeah, 60 shines and now it's all sunny again. And actually, see, it would be at this point in the game when you could actually have enough shine sprites to do... Like, you could be able to beat the game. Like, not at 60, but I think it's like 65 or something. But, like I said, we're going to do the whole thing. So, this is so cool, though. Like, at 25, part 25, we're already halfway through. But, like, I, I know that has a lot to do with the time extension, and I'm thankful for that. But still, you know, like I said, I feel really accomplished here. So, this is really cool. But I'm actually going to stop this episode here, because I don't know how long the next one's going to take. So, anyway, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out!